Hey up. Yeah, this is my kitchen. It's the only place I can film right now. So welcome back to That David YouTube channel. Today, I thought I'd show you what I'm gonna put in my tech bag for an overnight stay for work. So I've gotta go away for work for two days with one overnight stay, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of filming. As well as vlogging everything for you lot, obviously for this channel, I'm also gonna be creating some videos for work as well. Now they're not gonna necessarily be videos of people, although some of them might be, but then others are gonna be of buildings and stuff like that. So it's a bit different to the normal vlogging stuff. So I've got a lot of gear that I need to take. I don't actually know what I have to take. I'm just gonna take everything just in case. So to start with, I'll just throw it to myself because there's no one here to help me film. The bag. It's a low pro bag. Low pro. So this bag at the minute is on Amazon for about a hundred quid, but I got it for half price. All right, it was bought for me, but whatever. So apparently, I think it's a bag for, well, camera gear, but mainly GoPros. So I'm going to model this bag for you. It's got Velcro strappy bits there. I don't know why. It's got a little zip on the front here that goes about halfway down and it's not very thick. I don't know why. It's got a hook in there as well. I don't know why. The first compartment at the top is like that. Bear in mind, this isn't a full product review. So it goes about halfway down the bag. It's quite deep. It's got a little zip bit in there as well. It's got more of these hook bits. It's got a couple of pouches in there to shove bits and and bobs and, and stuff in. There's a second zipper on the top, and this one is a bit thinner, but it goes all the way down to the bottom. And there's two bits in there. I'm assuming laptop, iPad. Documents, paperwork, who carries that shit about? It's not a briefcase. I also really like these buckle bits here, because if your bag's a bit heavy, and it's weighing a bit on your back, you just do this. Probably tighten it up a bit, but it just gives you that extra bit of, ooh, it's nice. I think that's a technical term for it anyway. Ooh, must point out as well, these bits that'll be on your back, they're like padded bits. They're really nice and soft. It's very comfortable to use. And now the bit why you pay your money. Secret compartment. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So this is there in the bottom. Open it up, boom. Look at these, you can put stuff in there and oh i don't need that bit i like that you can change these as well so you can have six compartments you can move that one like i had earlier and put my full camera in there you can move them all of them are just velcroed in so you could actually just take them all out if you wanted or if you've got camera lenses gopros that sort of stuff that's what will be going in there in a bit so that's the bag what we're going to put in it so i'm going to be doing filming editing Filming, what else do I do? Okay, first off, MacBook. This is the MacBook Air 2020. Not the one that's just come out in November, because I think they brought two out in 2020. It's the one before that. And it's all right, it's decent. It's the only computer I use and it does everything I need it to do. So I'm gonna slide that down that back bit, them thin bits there. Sticking with the MacBook so I don't forget stuff is this. Now this is, official name for this is a dongle thingy. I'm pretty sure it is. So what this does is it plugs into your MacBook and then gives you the options of HDMI, two USB, uh, SD card, and micro SD card, all in there, 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 there. Because these MacBook Airs, they've got two USB-C slots, and I think that's it. Maybe an headphone jack as well. But this gives me the ability to plug loads of other stuff in as well. Which bit do I put this in? And then because I'll be doing loads of video editing as well. What's this called again? A hard drive. An external hard drive. It's a Maxter one. Can you see that? Maxter. I buy them. This is a one terabyte hard drive. And I think they're about 40 quid off Amazon. And this is about my fifth, sixth one in the last few years. So when these start getting full, I just buy a new one. Never had any problems with them whatsoever. And every single bit of footage I've ever done goes on one of these. So I save everything. I dread to think what might be on there if they're ever found one day. Not like that. Cameras. So I'm filming right now on the Canon M50 with the video go road video 
GoPro mic thing. The thing on the top, you've seen it before. That's what I'm filming on right now, that's what I'll be taking. I always use the best camera that I have at the time. That's what we're gonna be filming pretty much everything on. But there might be some other bits and bobs or different angles that we wanna get. So I'm gonna take another couple of cameras, plus I also wanna try and have a play out and about with these. So this is the GoPro Hero 8. Just got it. It's the same as the GoPro Hero 5, only probably better. I've not actually filmed anything on this yet, so as you look, actually tell a lie, I filmed something in the other video, didn't I, and it went a bit wrong. We'll give this another try and see what happens, but I'm gonna take that. This bag apparently is for the GoPro, so I can get it in that secret little bit and whack it in there, can't I? Oh, which, there we go. Put you in there, I'll do. Now this one's a little bit different. It's the Rico. Theta, I think it's called. Theta, Theta, T-H-E-T-A, I believe. It's a 360 camera. There we are. Rico, Theta, Theta, Theta. I don't know, but look, it's got a lens there, a lens there. It's actually pretty cool when you turn it on, although you can't see now, but on the interface and stuff, like lights start coming up and stuff. Oh, there we go, look. Didn't see that coming, did you? Maybe I should take this sticker off. What's that telling me anyway? That don't say it on fire. There we go, that looks cool, doesn't it? I'll try and show you some of this stuff in a vlog one day. Maybe we'll do a whole video on it. I don't know. That can go in the GoPro bit. Ah, see, that's where I just changed that one into a long one and put that in there. So to go with the Canon M50, I've also got these, Rode Wireless Go. So these are wireless microphones, so one of them's the receiver, one of them's the microphone. So you plug the receiver into the top of your camera, you plug that, clip it onto somebody, and away you go. In fact, we did this in the last video as well, didn't we? So I may need them tomorrow because we might be filming in a huge market hall where the camera might not necessarily be close to the person that's speaking. Now who wants to see some sticks? Sticks. So this one's the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is what I use all the time. So this is what the Canon M50 would be on if you weren't on a big tripod doing this video because I don't need to move you around. But when I'm doing all my vlogs and stuff, this is what I'm carrying around. This with a camera on top. And I believe this is the 1K. I think there's a 500 and then a 1K and then something else. I think that's something to do with the weight it can hold. That would make sense. In fact, Here's the Netta's 500 one, and here's the 1K one. As you can see, there's a bit of difference there. I forgot about this. Did I show you that bit as well? Boom, there you go. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing that, because I'm gonna be carrying it, because I'm gonna be filming the whole trip there. More train footage coming soon. The next stick that I use is the Smartry. Smartry. SMA tree. It's this one. This one's designed specifically for the GoPro. So when I get that GoPro out, I get this stick out. This is what I use if people see my videos and they know how much gear I'm carrying on me when I'm on a train. So as you can see, it's for a GoPro at the end. And what's really cool about this one is that it comes with this. I think this is what makes it smart. So it's not just a tree, it's a smart tree. You screw this into the bottom, bop, 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 and all of a sudden, you can just stand it up somewhere and film stuff. If I'm vlogging in the next video, I'll try my best to get a shot where I put this down with the GoPro somewhere and then like wander off vlogging and stuff and you'll know that I've been using this. Where's this gonna go? I'll have to figure that out in a bit. I don't actually know where it's gonna fit. Third and final stick, this one. I don't know the make and I can't remember where it's from. It'll be Amazon. It's basically just a travel tripod and although that looks quite small, look, it extends two or three times bigger than that. And it does actually get quite tall. The unique selling point for this is it's got its own level in. Look at that. So you know it's level. Do we need that on a tripod? I don't know, but I like it. And it comes with a few different attachments and a remote control. What's that controlling? One vital thing that you can't forget when traveling with gear, chargers. I'll not bore you with it. I've got a charger with a spare battery for my camera. I've got, I'm already boring you with it. I've got chargers for everything that you've just seen me put in the bag. Spare battery for the Canon M50, spare SD card, 
for the Canon M50. Obviously, hat, mask, that'll be going with me. And something people won't ever really see, not because that makes it sound like I'm tight and I never get my wallet out. I haven't been out with anyone for about three years. I've actually got a custom made wallet. I think it's from Oliver Sweeney. Oh yeah, Oliver Sweeney. Oliver Sweeney. And I've had this for about four or five years, I think. I've had it for years and it's still, still intact. It's still fine. And the reason why I love it and I'll always keep it is I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. But can you see there? Corb, when he were about three, I think, he actually drew, if you can see there, look, he drew me and him and wrote Daddy and Corbin on it. I don't know how well the camera's picked that up, but obviously that's something special. And I have that on me all the time, even though I don't always have any money. I think that's it. I'll obviously have my phone on me. Oh, and my Apple Watch. These are quite useful, you know, because I use the Trainline app to be able to just scan my ticket and stuff or show the geezer and it just scans and what have you so that's quite useful and then even when I use maps as well to get from the train to the place where I'm going I don't always remember which way it is so I stick on my map put my phone back in my pocket and my watch takes over and starts telling me where to go and stuff so that's pretty cool am I? I'd like to be <laughs> He'd like to be pretty cool. Yeah, so that's it. So that's all the tech that I'll be using and taking with me for two days working away. And I'll obviously have a second bag with me with all my other stuff in. I hope that gives you a little bit of an insight into the sort of stuff that I use. Well, it will do, because I've just shown you all the stuff I use. Anyway, like the video, comment, let me know what you think. Let me know what else you, that you want to see. And subscribe to the channel if you want. I'm getting some great feedback on these videos and it genuinely means a lot because I'm really glad that people enjoy them because I enjoy making them. I'm not so sure now it's quarter past nine at night and I'm stood in my kitchen. So there you are. Next video coming up is probably going to be me off on me jollies in crew because that's where I go on holiday now. Thank you. See you in the next one. That thank you were a bit aggressive. Donera, am I going to need to change your pants or will these ones be all right for two days? <sighs> The audio's just been the bog standard camera audio, which I hope's been okay, because I just completely forgot to plug this in. It's usually plugged in. I don't know why it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in because I took it off to take a fancy picture for this video, and then I put it back on and just not plugged it in. God's sake, this is... Uh, sorry, I've taken up too much of your time. See you in a bit.